Hey, glad you came back. Hey, today, um, I'm actually going to show you uh, how I hang my yogurt, right? It will yield a richer, thicker, creamier end product, right? A lot of people don't do it. You know, Mama Shaw, she don't understand why I do it, but she loves the results. She just doesn't have the time for it because it has to hang for a minimum of 10 to 12 hours, right? The other video you saw me eating some uh, tzatziki sauce, I did it for 20 hours. Just over 20 hours it hung, but I didn't show you. But I'm doing a smaller portion. I'm just doing it for about 12 hours. Well, over 12 hours. Um, this is a, a honey mint sauce, right, that I've taken up. So this is what we got. Look at that. I know you saw the thumbnail. It's delicious. Hope you enjoy this. If nothing else, you get a good technique out of it. Let's get to it. Hey, this is Charles Chiron. That is the best elevator music I ever heard. All right, so for this, I have here about a cup of Greek yogurt. This is just plain yogurt. And what I'm going to be doing, we're going to strain it. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, real easy. Yeah, it's a little time consuming, but it's easy nonetheless. So what we're going to do, I have here some cheesecloth. It's a double layer of cheesecloth. We're gonna put our yogurt on the cheesecloth. Using a spatula here to make sure I get as much of this out as I can. Okay. Now we're gonna pull up the ends of the cheesecloth. And we're going to tie it. Make a nice little pouch, a little bundle, a satchel, if you will. See that? Tie it up. Okay. And what I have here is a bowl. And I'm going to put, I'm going to hang this over the bowl. Right? And so as you can see, it's already starting to drain the liquid. Okay? And we're going to put this in the refrigerator. You can do this outside of the refrigerator, room temperature, you know, 24 hours. But I'm going to put it in the refrigerator because I only have, you know, there's about a cup here. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for about 10 to 12 hours. Okay? So when that's done, we'll be back. Okay, so it's been about 12 hours, a little over. So you can see the liquid that's drained off of the yogurt. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take the yogurt, put it in this bowl, so we can go ahead and um, make our sauce. I don't feel like untying it, so I'm just going to rip it and dump it out. Still pretty moist. There you go. To put this sauce together real easy, we got a couple tablespoons of lemon juice here, right? Got about a tablespoon of fresh cilantro. 
We have about a tablespoon or so of um, thinly sliced mint. We're gonna be using a couple tablespoons of honey. Gonna be using about a teaspoon of kosher salt and about a teaspoon of black pepper. And of course, we have our now strained yogurt, okay? So let's get all this put together. All right, so we're gonna add our lemon juice. It goes in. Our mint, get that in. Our cilantro, that goes in. Now let's get our honey in here. You know, all of these are to taste, really. This is just how I like it. It's like that, you know, kind of sweet, you know? For my sauce there. A little pepper. Salt. Let's get this all mixed up. So you saw how thick the yogurt was when I took it out of the cheesecloth. That's what you want. Maybe a thicker cream or sauce. Now, you don't have to strain it. But, you know, when I have time, I'll strain it. But it's not really so much a necessity. It comes out of the personal choice. Get some tasting chopsticks here. We're going to taste. Yep, that's good. That is good. Nice, thick, creamy, rich. There we go. A little garnish on it. Oh, this is perfect. All right, so here we have it. I showed you how to hang the yogurt, right, so it drains. Now again, this is gonna give you a nice, thicker, richer, creamier sauce, right? And this is a honey mint sauce that I like to use. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hey, join the peanut gallery. Hit that notification bell. You know, we leave our arms open and we'll leave the light on so you can find us even in the dark. Also, if you could, share us out. We greatly appreciate it. Also, if we're not connected on Instagram, go to Instagram, put my name in, Shara Shara. Look for the great cat, and let's connect. That being said, I'm about to put this, believe it or not, on some shawarma. Yeah.